What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today I'm going to show you how to create and join sessions for your multiplayer games. It's going to be a very easy route to follow, so let's get started. Alright, yes, first of all I want to mention that this will only work uh, locally, so it will be basically like on LAN. And it's because we're going to be using the default subsystem of Unreal Engine, which doesn't provide any hosting in, in a, let's say, uh, an external server. So basically this will only work in LAN. Uh, with all that said, let's now actually get started. So first of all, we will need to create a basically a, like a main menu See, So let's go up here, new level, and it's going to basic, say create. So this is going to be our main menu. Uh, so let's go ahead and just create a new user interface. So right click, user interface, widget blueprint. It's going to be now user widget. That will be underscore, and then I mean, we can say like, uh, sessions hosting or sessions. That will be sessions we can say for example right uh, of course if you already have your main menu created or something like that you can open up that scene and then create a new widget for us uh, so what we're going to do is go in the palette and add a canvas panel and then what we're going to do is go and add a vertical box so we'll be able to place different buttons over here and it will automatically basically like align we're gonna be putting this at the center the position on x and y at the center then in the alignment i'm going to put 0.5.5 and this is just so everything is centered i'm gonna then go ahead and increase a bit the size x and y and let's make it sound like this okay kind of a bit better uh so now what we can do is just drag our button inside you can see it will be as a child and then what we can do is get the text and put it inside that button as you can see in the hierarchy it's putting it itself uh, in this inside basically so this first button will be for host session so host session and then what we'll do is change the button name to host button and then what we're going to do is make sure it's variable then let's go ahead and just duplicate this so ctrl d and this will be the join button so rename that and then inside the text just change that into join session great so with all that said uh, we can select the join button and we can add some padding on the top so for example 10 or whatsoever doesn't matter and of course this widget is just uh, you know quickly made of course you want to design it like you want and in more detail you can it's just uh, the functionality of course great so now what we're going to do is select the host session button go down into the unclicked event we're going to add over here the event so now when we click this button we can start doing things so I'm just going to go ahead and delete all that stuff, we don't need that. So what we're going to do here is basically create a session. So go ahead and just find a create session. And the player controller will be get, if I know how to type, get player controller. And then uh, public connections is basically the amount of players that you can have in your session, right? Let's put something as five, for example, just to have this at default. And now in here, I know that it says you slam, uh, doesn't matter, we can just leave it like this. Uh, but still, don't worry, it will not, um, well, sorry, don't, not, don't get excited because if you pass this to your friend in Canada and you're in, I don't know, in Europe, this will not work, okay? Uh, so just have that in mind. Anyway, once we have successfully created this session, we have to basically go into the other level. So just add a open level node and then you have to put exactly the name of the level. What I recommend is going and copying. It has to be exactly how it is, okay? Uh, in my case, I have a lot of junk over here, I know, uh, but it should be in here, third person maps. And here it is, third person maps. So let me copy the name and put it over here and paste it. Make sure there's no uh, spacing uh, after, before, whatever. And now we will have to do is expand this and we have to go into options. And I have to type over here is a, um, the symbol, how do you say in English? The, the question in symbol <laughs> and then you have to write listen like this uh, all together press press enter and that's it uh, the L in lowercase okay and great uh, question mark was the the symbol I didn't remember for some reason so this will be basically house session and now we have to go into the join session so in here in join button selected go into clicked I'm gonna do the similar thing but on here what to do is say find uh, sessions once again copy the player controller paste it here so now this will basically go through all the sessions uh, and basically find them all so you can say that this will give us an array 
for example, uh, first of all, let's put the max results to like 100. Okay, this is the max sessions that you can find. This is up to you. I'm, I mean, the less, the faster it will work and things like that. You get the idea. Uh, so, uh, basically, this will return a, a results array because, I mean, it's a list of sessions. Uh, if you don't know what an array is, basically a list of objects, in this case, a list of sessions. So, what we do is do a for each loop and then uh, we can basically so it will run through all the array all the sessions and then for example we could display and create buttons and then you can choose whatever session you like and join but for making simple for this tutorial what we're going to do is just get a copy a copy and uh, get the first copy which is zero and then from this what we're going to do is just join the session on success okay uh, it's just to make things a bit simple. If you want to make a server, uh, let's say browser um, of all the games and servers, like for example in Rust or in Arc Survival Evolved, something like that, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, so we'll be basically join session. Great, so with that, we should be able to do this. Now you're probably questioning, well first of all we have to place the play controller here again. You're probably questioning, well we don't need to do anything more here. No, we don't have to uh, open the level automatically when you join a session. It will uh, join the map uh, level that that session is being hosted. So that's great because if, for example if the person is hosting a custom map uh, you'll be able to join that custom map. So you have to know uh, and basically manually type that in. So that's great. Um, we can put some prints in, so for example in here, and uh, we can put a print of session created, which will not be able to see us in a second because, I mean, it will load up very quickly the map, but whatever. And then here, let's say uh, session found. Alright, session found, and then another print on success here, on um, session joint, session joint. Okay, great. So now we have pretty much all the functionality to join and host sessions. So now what we have to do is compound save, go to our main menu level and go ahead and open the level blueprint. So basically in the begin play, what we'll do is basically create the widget. So create widget. I know how to type. <laughs> there we go. And uh, the class will be WB sessions. Basically the one that we have just created. Only in player we get player uh, controller. And then the return value we can just add it into the viewport so it will be in the player screen. There we go. So now uh, if we press play, you can see that we have the option stuff. But in order to test this, what we have to do is open two uh, instances, two windows basically. Uh, so what we can do is click on this uh, change play mode and play settings. And when we go down, we can change the number of players to be two. Of course, you can test it with the amount of players that you want, but let's say it's two. And then in net mode, we can just leave it as standalone because this is basically single player and this hosting the server and being just a client. But we can just leave it as whatever it is, for example, single player, because when we host or join, it will automatically detect which one it is and assign it. So we just can leave that as standalone, for example, you know, for example. And we can just say new editor window, so it will open up to windows. So what I'm going to do is with the right one, I'm going to say host session. So let me click it and there we go, session created. I'm here in the Git. What is happening to the character's hair? <laughs> Are you seeing that? Well, whatever. Okay, uh, let's go now to the left one and I say join session. Once we click it, you may not see any immediate response. This uh, it takes a long time uh, to find the session. But you can see session find, session join. There we go here, going ahead and working as it is. So yeah, maybe it doesn't uh, appear instantly, okay? But don't worry, it might be working, just it takes a couple of seconds. Now, a, qu a quick thing I'm going to mention is that make sure that in your map you have two player spawns. What I did here is just like this one and duplicate it. So, Ctrl D, just move it because if not, um, your character might spawn in the 0, 0, 0, so it will fall down. So, just have that in mind. But that's a part thing from the session and stuff. Anyway, if you found the tutorial helpful, I would really appreciate you to like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials, so if you want to check them out, go ahead, join my Discord server, and follow me on my socials. With that said, bye bye.